To my litigation trial lawyer friends out there, does your trial notebook look something like this? Well, stick around until the end because I'm gonna show you how to organize your trial notebook and streamline your trial presentation strategy because I'm gonna show you how to make a OneNote trial notebook. Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and welcome back to my channel. And if you'd like to schedule professorblackmore.com to add some spice, engagement, and interactive excitement to your next MCLE, CLE, or trial prep litigation conference, please contact me at professorblackmore at gmail.com. If you'd like to purchase a copy of Professor Blackmore's pre-made civil or criminal e-trial notebook template, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And in prior episodes, I showed you how to use OneNote as a cloud storage alternative for your entire civil or criminal law firm files. And we've been working in the civil auto accident case, Parker v. Prince, wherein Miss Prince failed to yield the right away at a flashing red light due to distracted driving. But anyway, and I showed you how to use OneNote to create a deposition notebook and I showed you how to use OneNote and PowerPoint together instead of costly programs like TrialPad or Trial Director to conduct a virtual or in-person deposition of Ms. Prince, wherein we were able to get her to admit that she proceeded through the flashing red light instead of stopping. And you'll be able to use this technique at the time of trial to streamline your trial presentation of witnesses as well. Now, I also showed you how to use OneNote to create a mediation notebook template to conduct the mediation for this case. But now it's time for trial. And today I'm going to show you how to use OneNote to create a OneNote e-trial notebook template. Now, if you remember from my virtual deposition demonstration, you can play your trial presentation of witnesses straight from OneNote using your preferred device. Now, this is what it looks like if you're using a Microsoft Surface or Surface Pro. Combining digital handwriting with PDF searchable capabilities essentially makes that trial notebook and yellow pad, combine them into one and puts it in the same place with everything accessible. The final piece of that puzzle is to have a device that makes sense to use in the courtroom. Once you get to the point where you're preparing for trial, then a lawyer transitions into a teacher or a mentor. We begin to develop the lesson of that case and what we're going to teach a jury. So when you have a tab notebook with 250 pages of reports in it, and you have a OneNote trial notebook configured, PDFs inserted, to be able to have that information that is stored on our servers accessible, and that is all searchable when we're at court, allows us to make that critical decision with every bit of information that we could possibly need. We need to have that information in front of us. It's every decision we make can have an impact on someone else's life. The Surface Pro 3 gives mobile access to the files, and not just their files, but everyone's files, if need be. It sort of eliminates the need for all that paper. But if I'm using my Samsung Note 7 here, I can launch my PowerPoint trial presentation and presentation of witnesses straight from OneNote and project it for viewing by the witness, the judge, and the jury. And I can use my Samsung Note 7 action pin here to advance the slides containing my exhibits. And so to do that, I would just make sure that I have my OneNote app installed on my mobile device and then I'm going to go ahead and tap that OneNote app icon and then I can go ahead and just tap my PowerPoint presentation 
that's already here in my OneNote eTrial notebook. I can go ahead and open it and then I want to go ahead and click slideshow and I want to start it from the beginning. And so to advance the slides all I have to do is press the button on my action pen. And so as you can see it will cause each one of the call outs to be displayed for the viewing of the judge, the jury, and the witness as I'm asking the questions. So these are just some of the call outs that you can make using PowerPoint and then you can present your witness and your trial presentation during trial using OneNote together with PowerPoint. Now here is an image call out. I can show directions on the map by clicking the action pin to ask the witness about a particular direction that she was driving in or the direction that the other driver was driving in. I can also show image callouts as well as video callouts. And so, let's jump right in. Now remember, whenever you create any of the OneNote notebook templates that I've demonstrated for you, the purpose is to have a template that you can use over and over again. So you're not recreating the wheel each time. Having a template saves time and it automates the process so that you can quickly create a new motion hearing, deposition, mediation, or e-trial notebook whenever you need one for any of your subsequent case files. But here again are some of the sections in my civil e-trial notebook template as reflected in full in Buckland's building trial notebooks. And so here is the summary now. Like I said, each section is going to include the instructions for that particular section. And so the instructions tell us that we want to use the one sheet case summary, which you'll also find here in your notebook template. And so you just simply want to fill in the two pages of the one sheet case summary for this case. And so here is a generic case summary here and uh, I've demonstrated how you can have it filled in. It's just a simple little summary. And then here is a motor vehicle uh, case summary. And so as you can see here, you'll see that it has uh, page one here and then it tells you what to put on page two here. And then it has this uh, physical accident scene chart. It has a lot of interesting information. And then there's also a plaintiff client motor vehicle instruction sheet that you would provide instructions to the client. And so these are all instructions that are provided here in this first step. And it'll make sure that whoever is helping you with this notebook will stay on task with being able to make sure that all of these steps are completed. Then we have another section here for pretrial orders. Uh, then you have it divided into our witness, their witness, again with the instructions in the beginning. Then you have your third party witnesses. Then you get into your experts, our experts, their experts, your exhibit list. Then here you have a finder uh, section here which is where you have all of your 
information on the different types of people who may need to be contacted in the case. So if you have insurance adjusters or any other type of people, you want to keep up with their name, phone number, addresses. This is the section for that. Then you also have your place for your deposition summary, uh, your deposition arrangements, which you can also then copy over to your deposition notebook, your OneNote deposition no uh, notebook as well. Then you have your damages list. Again, you have your instructions which tell you exactly uh, what to do for that. You have your pleadings section. You have your uh, admissions sections, which has subsections for your different types of admissions that have been established throughout the case. Then you have your law and trial section. Here we'll have uh, instructions as well on how to proceed with this particular section. Then you have your motions in limine section here. You have motions and orders where you can keep your different motions organized or any dispositive motions that you want to have reflected in your e-trial notebook that you want to take along with you uh, for trial. Then you'll have your voir dire information. And I also include in here my Professor Blackmore's Jury Voir Dire Notebook, in which I go through the steps that I use to uh, do a scaled questions presentation, or even if it's a uh, jurisdiction where you're only allowed to go on a questionnaire. So I have that complete Jury Voir Dire uh, notebook included here in the trial notebook as well. And then I also show you my sample uh, final jury seating chart as well. But from the Buckland's Building Trial Notebooks uh, portion, you'll also get the instructions and all of the uh, jury questionnaire information that uh, is included in building Buckland's Buckland's building trial notebooks as well. And so here you have your opening and summation section here. You also have your jury instructions section here. Then you also have a settlement section uh, here as well. You have an insurance section uh, which you can include any subrogation or lien information that you may have. And then you have your trial diary that you can have here at the end where I have included a copy of Professor Blackmore's yellow pad notebook template uh, to record any trial notes that you need to take uh, throughout the trial. And remember with OneNote, uh, you'll also be able to record handwritten notes you also can uh, record voice uh, dictation. You can do dictated notes on here as well. You can also uh, record an audio note. Uh, if you need to quickly just put a voice note in there. And remember, anyone who is sharing this notebook with you will have real-time access to any audio note that you include in this notebook during trial for any to-dos or tasks that you need someone to complete back at the office. So, if you have any questions, please leave your questions or comments in the comment section below. Or, if you might use this time-saving and cost-saving technique in your next trial, please let me know. And I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up. And I want to ask that you also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I go live or whenever I post new videos. And please also follow me on TikTok and 
Instagram. And if you like to schedule ProfessorBlackmore.com to add some spice, engagement, and interactive excitement to your next MCLE, CLE, or attorney litigation trial prep conference, or if you like to purchase a copy of Professor Blackmore's pre-made civil or criminal e-trial notebook template, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com.